search for an 84 year old woman from St. Clair County is now on to go one week. Yeah, Nadine Moses last left her home in Casco Township in the middle of the night on May 4th. And so far, family, friends and police have turned up nothing. It's a real mystery. And as we bring in Jason Colfort for an update here, Jason, it appears state police have upgraded this case to an endangered missing person advisory. That's exactly right, Kim, and the information is being blasted out. Now drivers are seeing it on the information boards on the freeways like the one behind me. The make of her car, it's a blue 2011 Ford Edge. And this follows another extensive search over the weekend by MSP that was three hours in the air and it again turned up nothing. Church going, very good lady. Very loving, a gentle, very peaceful woman. At 84 years old, Nadine Moses is still very independent. Always got a smile on her face. She's dealt with what her sons Todd and Barry call normal memory loss for someone of her age, but nothing that would explain what happened in the middle of the night last Tuesday. The whole question is why she woke so early in the middle of the night and decided that she needed to be going somewhere. And that's the part that we just are not, you know, not sure of at all. She took the time her bed was made. Everything was all neat and tidy. She took her morning pills before leaving. And um, so it didn't seem to be like a real hurry or rush. By Tuesday night, a full on search was underway. And before long, volunteers had gone as far north as Bad Axe and crisscrossed the map back south to her home in Casco Township. And there's been intense focus on Marine City, where police say her cell phone last pinged a tower around 9 a.m. that morning. We don't know if she went out, got turned around, got lost, and just kept going farther out. Um, it's just been kind of a mystery. Now the hope is that someone out there has seen Nadine or her 2011 Blue Ford Edge. There is hope and lots of prayers, neither of which, though, made Mother's Day any easier for the Moses family. Tough. I mean, you know, we're losing our, uh, we're losing our dad <clears throat> last few years, you know, um, was a lonely Mother's Day. Yeah, you can sure imagine that. They lost their dad in 2018. They were married for more than 60 years. Uh, Investigators here think her cell phone probably died shortly after that last ping in Marine City around 9 a.m. There's been no activity in the bank account. She doesn't have a credit card, very little cash. At this point, they just don't know where else to search, which is why they're hoping someone recognizes her tonight. Kimberly? Yeah. Jason, have they been able to track the car at all? I know you mentioned what kind it was. Any, any leads on that? No luck with the GPS part of it, only because it's it's too old for that to track that technology. But the license plate is out there and the license plate is a little unique. You'll see it on the information boards like the one behind me again. It's a handicap plate with the number C8932. Mm -hmm. Again, if anyone recognizes her, sees that car, call 911. Yeah. Back to you. Hopefully somebody knows something. All right, Jason, thanks.